all the people trying to control my life. And you all know who you are. There are some people out there. To my one loyal subscriber, there are people out there that are trying to control me. There's another subscriber to my channel that's trying to control me now. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> I think there's two of them, actually. You're going to get it today. Be prepared. You don't have any right. Not one right in the mother effing world to tell me what goes into my body, what I do to my body, and what I don't do. You don't have any control over how I should feel about certain situations, how I should act in certain situations. You only have so much say, like, oh, the fire alarm's going off. Hey, it's been two minutes, go outside. You know what I mean? You only have that much say. Or, hey, you've had this going on for a month now. Maybe you should see someone about that. It's not that I don't consider seeing somebody when I feel something's off. It's just, in my situation with COVID, when it lasts, it lasted two weeks fully. Um, and I was, um, when I was sick enough, I was like, well, I, I might consider going to the clinic. I, I considered it. But because of how the improvements were steadily getting stronger, each day that went by, I was like, well, energy-wise, I'm feeling better. So, I don't know. Like, I'm starting to feel better. Starting to. Taste is getting better. Smell is getting better. So, I don't really know if I need to necessarily make an appointment to go see someone or go to the clinic because I feel that I'm improving. It, it might not seem like it, but I am. Yet, these people have the audacity to tell me who I should and shouldn't be with, what I should and shouldn't put into my body, and what I should and shouldn't do and feel. Sorry. Um, how old are you? And how old am I now? You never had authority. Look, one of you, and you know who you are, when I was born, you were six years old, so you can shut it. Okay? You're definitely not my mother. You're not even my biological sister, so you can shut it. I don't know about all of you, but I'm, be I'm wondering, I bet you some of you, Weren't even born when I was born. Maybe. But. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know about the other subscriber very much. But I do know they're trying to tell me. How I should be eating. I should be eating like them. Or I'm not a carnivore apparently. <laughs> yeah you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I see you. I see you. You're a lurker. But I see you. Yeah. You can shove it too, bitch. You know what? I'm just going to let it out. I'm just going to let it out. Because I'm tired. I mean, I, I'm in my best smug attitude when I'm exhausted. I am losing sleep over this crap because I've been... I've lost three friends so far to this bull crap. Each of them long-time friends. One of them I didn't talk to for like a couple of years because of his situation. Yes, he was a friend. Uh, and then the other, others, I don't know. Suddenly, I, they just turned on me, the other two. I don't know. One being my ex-boyfriend. 15 years we were in a relationship. Because I met him at 12 years old. We were at a day camp. And the other was about seven years. 
Mm-hmm. The two, the two other, two other people, my ex and my other friend, I knew them 15 years ago. The other, there was another one, a girl. She was my friend for seven years. Kicked her to the curb. She kicked me to the curb, but I also, in the end, decided, you know what, I'm just going to kick her to the curb, too. F her. All right, she can go F herself. Um, and now I'm losing another friend of 15 years to the same bull crap. You're not my mother, honey bun. Just because you're older than me gives you no right. You, you have no right. Any of you here that are older than me, you have no right. The only person who has a, even somewhat of a say is my mom. And I trust her judgment. I do. If she thinks, look, you've been sick for a while now. You haven't had any improvement in this, this, and this. I think you should go to the clinic. If, if, she, if she had said that, or if she said, you know what? You need this done because you are this and this and this, you have this and this and this going on and we don't want you getting, you know, whatever. Um, I will do it because I trust her judgment on it. Like, okay, let's say we had the same argument about the vaccines needed to go to the Dominican Republic or whatever, right? To go to South American countries where, like, the water isn't the cleanest, right? If we had the same argument about those, we know that those are needed to keep you from getting, like, hepatitis A and B, right? You see those ads all the time. If somebody said, it's one thing to say, okay, well, you need a vaccine because of hepatitis B and A in the, um, that you can contract in South America, Central and South America. I'm not sure about Central, actually, but I know like Cuba and places like that, you need, you need the vaccines for that kind of stuff. And... If I, if I had said no to that, it would be a whole different thing. But these are just simple, everyday things. Um, like, I so informed you, you should have been to this, and you should have done that, and blah, 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 blah. I so informed you. Blah. She's using a, she was using a Big Bang Theory quote on me. I so informed you thusly. Trying to make me regret everything. All of you out here. Tr- thinking you know my life best. All of you. I don't care if you're a vegan, carnivore, vegetarian, whatever. You can all laugh off. All of you. Every single freaking one of you can all laugh off. And I don't give a crap how you feel about this video. I do not give a crap. So why don't you take all of that and shove it, okay? And suck on it. Because I'm done with this attitude. And the one subscriber who's also my, was also my friend, you're only going to be a former friend until I get that apology email from you. Yeah. I told her in an email to apologize to me. And if her whole family is telling me to do the same thing, they can all apologize to me too. Mm -hmm. No one is going to dictate my life. No one. You're not going to tell me what I should and shouldn't eat, what I should and shouldn't, like everything that I should and shouldn't be doing to my body. I don't do crap to my body, by the way. I don't change anything about myself. The only thing I do is sometimes I try to get my hair better looking. That's all I do. Mm Mm-hmm. That's all I do to myself. I don't put anything in my body that I don't trust. I don't put anything in my body without researching it. Doing, like, in-depth research. 
and they're going to call me blind and stupid and and careless and make me regret my actions? No. I don't even regret making this video. And if YouTube doesn't take it down because, you know, YouTube is YouTube. Well, fine, but I'm sick and tired of it. People are always telling me what I should be feeling, what I should be doing, how I should be reacting to certain things. Maybe there's some situations where I could be overreacting, but you don't just tell me, you can't just take this way. <laughs> no, what you say is, don't you think you're a little, you're kind of overreacting a little bit? Maybe there, maybe. No, you don't tell me I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be saying that. I need to come to my own conclusions in that regard. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do that. That is something that I need to figure out on my own. Should I have done this differently? Should I do this differently? Should I do that differently? You have no control over what I feel, what I say, how I act. None of you do because you're not my mom. You're not my doctor. You're not my anything. You know nothing about me. Clearly. So all of you, F off. And um, I'm waiting for that apology from you know who you are. Yes, you do. You know who you are. So, no, don't put it in the comments. I don't want that out in the public. You're going to apologize in the email because it's going to be, it's good. I need it to be long and thorough from the heart and full of emotion. And I want there to be, you know, I want to sense some regret. I want to be able to feel it. And if you don't feel anything, and if you're not willing to apologize, well, guess what we're not doing anymore? We're not going to be friends, okay? And anyone who has subscribed to me that's tried to dictate who I should be and what I should do with my life, if you think that I should be a certain way, act a certain way, talk a certain way, unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. I definitely won't change who I am for my subscribers. Not in that way. I'm only going to change my content because I get struck by a bunch of people and reported and taken down for, like videos taken down for, you know, somehow crossing the line. You guys don't know crap. So all of you can F off and I will see some of you in the next video anyway. Anyway, so uh, yeah. Later, guys. Oh, if anyone's gonna tell me what to do, then I'm gonna. Then I have a message for all of you. All of you that want to tell me what to do, maybe you should all lay off the carbs. <laughs>